Hi folks, welcome back to Metabox Tutorials. Today, we're going to find out how to add content from custom fields to Yoast SEO meta tags. Normally, when you use Yoast SEO on your site, there will be a section to fill in the title and description that helps search engines index them easier. You can fill in static content or dynamic content to these sections. But in some cases, you may want to get content not only from those default fields but from custom fields. So how to do it with custom fields from Metabox? Let's find out in this practice. For instance, I have a few basic fields like this. I'll get data from them, then add to Yoast CO meta tags as title and description. To use Yoast CO meta tags, you would have to use Yoast CO on your site. To create custom fields, we need the Metabox Core plugin to have a framework to do it. You can download it directly from wordpress.org. You also may want to use some extensions of Metabox for the advanced features. You can install them individually or use Metabox all in one to have them all. If you want to have a UI on the back end to create custom fields more easily, you can use Metabox Builder. Furthermore, depending on your real case and the custom field structure you want, you may need to add some other Metabox extensions. In this practice, I use Metabox Group to group fields together. It's just for demonstration and gives you some typical examples to see clearer how to do it with multiple types of fields. And, Metabox for Yoast SEO helps you to add content of custom fields to Yoast SEO content analysis. There is a little difference among getting content from normal field, group, clonable field, and clonable group. So I'll have four kinds of them as you can see here. Let's create them. After creating all the fields, move to the Settings tab, choose Location as Post Type, and select any post type as you want to apply these fields to it. After publishing the custom fields, you will see the field in the post editor. Just add some data. We will see this text again in the next step. There are two ways to get values from custom fields and then add those content to Yoast SEO meta tags. One is using Yoast SEO snippet variables. But it is just for the field which is non-clonable and standalone, which means that it's not in any group. Another one is using custom snippet variables to output content from group, clonable field or clonable group. Now, let's see both ways in detail. Adding data using this way is quite straightforward. Just go to the post editor, scroll to the Yoast CO section, and add a variable with a structure like this. This is the prepend text for variables that get data from custom fields. And this is the ID of the field. 
please be noticed that this way makes sense only when the field is non-clonable and not in any group. When you add the variable, the preview will show the text immediately. It is exactly the same with the content saved in the custom field. To double check if it is in the meta tag or not, just go to the post on front end and inspect it. Here it is. To get data from some special custom field, for example group or clonable ones, we should add code to the themes file to create custom snippet variables. We will use this hook to register the custom variables. I use this function from Yoast CO to register that I will create three new variables since I have three fields for example here. These are the names of the variables that you can name as you want. Corresponding to each variable, we will have a function to get data from custom fields. You also can name those functions. This is to get data from this group which is non-clonable. This is to get data from the clonable field. This is to get data from the clonable group which has two subfields inside. Notice that this function follows Yoast CO documentation, so you can look for a more detailed guide about these parameters in there. In these functions to get content from custom fields, you should use this function to get data or settings of those fields no matter which kind of them. These are the ID of the field or group. If it is a group, there will be the ID of the subfields here to get data from them. If the field or group is clonable, you should add a loop to get all the data. Now, go to the post editor, enter the created variables into this box. Though Yoast CO does not render content from custom snippet variables in the snippet preview, You can inspect the post and see it here. That's the end of today's tutorial. If you want to learn more about how to play around with Metabox, please watch other tutorials on this channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to us for more tutorials. Bye.